I wasn't gonna make a video, but there's some absolutely crazy stuff in here. So I'm gonna have to make a video of this haul. Yo, it's Friday. I didn't even want to go to Bins today. I just got back from vacation. I was literally going to take a chill day. And then I kind of realized I didn't have much to do. So I was like, I might as well go to Bins. It's like 7.30. I just got home. I probably had one of the most insane days I've had at Bins since I pulled that art tee. Just quantity wise and then i got two tees one's at least like 200 and one's at least like a hundred dollar tee so two really solid tees and i got 50 pounds worth of stuff 50 pounds so i have so much stuff and i wasn't gonna record wasn't gonna make a video wasn't even gonna go to bins but i'm gonna make a video out of this it's basically just gonna be a haul video so let's get into it all right two days worth of bins this stack this stack some of this stuff everything on the ground and i got some mail that i'm gonna show off so i'm just gonna make this a haul video i'm gonna pick out some of the better pieces not gonna show everything but yeah bins has been really really great lately so let's get into a little video as always we have a lot more than i thought so let's get into it all right, y'all, let's get into it. I got a lot of pieces, so I'm gonna try to go pretty fast. I always say that, but let's get into it. The first three items I already sold, so I'm gonna run through them pretty quick. So this one I sold to my homie, Juna. Shout out Juna. I know they watched the videos. It says, I am a woman. I am always right. Do you have a problem with that? Shout out Juna, love you. Next one sold to my homeboy, John. This is a Mass Effect 3 promo shirt. It's a 3XL. It's pretty sick though. They don't go for that much, but yeah, just gave them the homie hookup. It's a really cool like video game promo tee. And the last one I just sold on Instagram this morning. I posted it on my story yesterday and it is a nice 90s, the white tag, Nike. It is a windbreaker and it's honestly so sick. It's black, white, and red with the little hit right here. Big hit on the back. If they had a zipper, it would probably be worth at least I want to say 40, like 40, 50. It's normally what I sell like Greg Tag ones, but I haven't had one with like a big swoosh on the back. It is pretty like stained on the inside. There is no zipper and I don't know how to replace a zipper or really want to spend the time buying a zipper, replacing it. So I just sold it for 20 bucks, which is still pretty good. I mean, I got it at bins. It was probably like a dollar or so. So I'm fine letting it go for 20. All right, next we got, I think this is 80s, but it might be 90s, but it is like puffy ink. That's why I think it might be a little bit older. It's like puffy and the tag is like super, super worn out and it's really, really thin. So I'm gonna say like 80s, 90s, but it's this property of Alcatraz Penitentiary Swim Team, San Francisco. It's really, really sick, really nice fade on it. Pretty good condition too. Next we got one that potentially could have been worth a lot of money but it is a size small and it's pretty thrashed like if you guys can see one of the sleeves is like just completely I don't know what you call this like de-threaded I don't know what happened but it's a knit sweater obviously it's a Ralph Lauren and it's a RL92 this is like the RL92 stuff is always really good. And it's just like a color block sweater. If this was like a large XL didn't have the damage, it would probably go for a decent price. This one is sick. It is a pray hard, like Christian kind of themed. I feel like Jesus and Christian themed stuff is just like doing really well right now. And I've sold a few pieces for a decent amount. So I just picked it up. It is a size large and yeah, it has some stains and stuff, but I thought it was really cool. Honestly, I don't care what the haters say. This shirt is so dope. It's like this sea foam green, like light green. And then the ink is like pink and blue and it's these kittens on it. 90s, size medium, single stitch vintage tee. It's just super sick. I had it included in the video. Honestly, like on Depop, 20 bucks. This is really dope. I was super hyped when I found this because 
One of my favorite shirts right now I've been trying to acquire is like, it'll be a vintage Fruit of the Loom shirt and then it'll be like the vintage Fruit of the Loom logo just printed on it. I don't know why, but I just really like them. And I found one, it's a crazy shirt one. So it's like, as you guys can see, it's the crazy shirt tag and then it's just the logo on the front. So I don't know why, but it's really sick to me. Hawaii, a little hit on the back. So I really like these. I really want a Fruit of the Loom one. Like a Fruit of the Loom one would be super, super sick. It's literally just Fruit of the Loom tag and then it just says through the loom. I don't know why, but I like them. This one, a little bit kinky. Hug me, squeeze me, make me wine. A little hit on the back too. It's just like a little wine comedy shirt. We got a 90s white tag, like Nike ringer shirt. Just a small navy check right there with some navy rings, really dope. We got a year 2000 millennium navy crew neck sweater. It's like never been worn. They probably literally got this for the millennium and like put it on once and never wore it again, so. There's that. Got some white tags, size double XL, Nike windbreaker pants. They got the small little check down here. So yeah, pick these up. Like I feel like these are at least like 20 bucks or so on Depop. We got an 80s, a 1989 University of Washington Huskies crew neck sweater. I love the old like little Husky right there. This one is really dope. I saw 80s Huskies pieces going for around 40 or so, so good little scoop. This one is so sick. I wish the print wrapped around to the back, but it is this 90s, I think 1994 Dolphin Aquatic Sea Life tee. It's a double XL on like an old Gildan heavyweight like paper tag, really nice. This one I found with the I'm a Woman shirt and it's a science is women's work graphic t-shirt. Really dope, probably late 90s on this guy with the Hanes beefy tag. Really love the colors. Another Jesus tee, this one is so sick. It's a Lord of the Rings rip. It says, Jesus Christ, the Lord of Kings. And then it has a big Bible verse on the back. It's on like a late 90s Delta blank. Again, these Jesus tees are just like doing so well. And especially if they're like parodies of things, they're just doing really well. I sold a Chanel rip off one for I think like $40. So I think this is at least like a $30 tee. This one's really cool. I love the colors. It's this cactus. This league spring training 1992 so this baseball tee the colors are just awesome super like summery colors this one's really cool it's a 90s nasa headquarters seeds from space tee the graphic is so sick it's like a greenhouse growing like tomatoes and stuff i don't know what it has to do with nasa but i don't know it was really really cool to find this this i'm pretty positive it's booty because i can't find a tag or anything but it's just this like tommy wrap around like turtleneck sweatshirt shirt bootleg or not it's still really really sick this one i'm a big fan of it says i heart my attitude problem so i found like 15 like size small or like extra small band tees in one bin and they were all like newer era ones but this is the oldest one i found it's like mid 2000s it's a size small queens of the stone age tee the graphic is so so sick i just sold the queens of the stone age like mid 2000s tee for 25 i think so maybe around the same price these two i wanted to include just because i really love this artist chelsea wolf so we got this one and then we got this one i think they're both size medium and they're from like 2018 tours i believe but yeah, the graphics are just crazy and she makes amazing music. This is a reprint ministry long sleeve, which was actually passed off to me. So shout out to the dude that passed this off to me. Ministry is a wild band. We got my boy Tim, Tim McGraw. 2001 tour. Look at this back print. So early 2000s on this back print, but country tees. Yeehaw. So I found like three Grateful Dead reprints or like reissue tees in one bin and a kid found an actual like 1991, I think, all over print like Grateful Dead. He's like batting like front and back print. It's crazy. He found an actual vintage one in the same bin where I found all these reprint ones. So like there's my luck, but a few of them were really cool and I did pick some of them up. One of them that I picked up, I traded off already, but this is like a Jamaica one, 1982, but it's actually licensed 2011. So I thought the graphics were still cool enough to like grab them and throw them on Depop. This one I just wanted to include because I love this. I love this color and I love stripes, so I just want to include this. Everyone needs a basic stripe tee in their wardrobe, so this one is really sick. We got a Tucson, Arizona 80s tee. It's like tie-dye for some ranch. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it, but it's pretty small, but still the tie-dye is really cool on it. We got a 90s white tag made in USA, size XL Nike soccer tee. Nothing on the back, but just a cool little Nike soccer hit. This I didn't know what it was. I thought it was that bread. <laughs> I'm like, Comment below if you think this looks like the 
Dave's Killer Bread like logo. I don't know why, but it just gives me like the Dave's Killer Bread logo vibes. But this is the Flying Other Brothers. It's a band apparently. I'd never heard of them, but it's cool with like the side tie dye. And yeah, I'd never heard of them. I looked this shirt up on eBay and found some selling for like 30. So pretty good pickup, but y'all that looks like the dave's killer bread logo i don't know why but it is next we got this funky monkey radio station promo tee now if you're a resident of washington you might remember what this station was so growing up in like elementary school this station very much shaped my music taste towards like alternative music they played so much like green day and like fallout boy later in the night they would play like metal and stuff too so this was an awesome radio station i'm sure it has like no resale value but i just wanted to pick it up because it was like a throwback this one i couldn't really find anything about rainbird i think it it looks like an alcohol to me i'm not exactly sure it's paper thin it's literally like the soft shirt I've ever felt in my life. It does have some like holes in it, but it was just like really, really soft and I really like the graphics. So I picked it up. This one is just a teacher tee. Shout out all my teachers. Wanted to include this because it says, I will not throw things in class. I will not get mad and hit anyone. I will not have a tantrum. Like y'all put up with this. Shout out my teacher. Shout out Bob Dabra. That's who this shirt's for. This is just an alcohol promo tee for a beer, I believe. I just really like the graphic and I'm still not entirely sure what's going on, but he's like grabbing some balls. This one is really cute. It is the Skagit Valley Tulip Festival, 1997. So the Tulip Festival in Skagit Valley, there's a big tulip farm in Skagit Valley and it's actually was in my family until like a year or two ago. I just wanted to pick this up to kind of show homage to that. Here we got a Bob Marley rap tee. I'm just kidding. It's just a Bob Marley tee. Just wanted to throw it in the video. It has like a weird script font that looks like colonial font or something, I don't know. Just wanna throw it in. 1998 Kansas City Chiefs, super basic graphic tee. Just wanna throw it in, show you guys what I pick up. This set is crazy. I want y'all to smash a like on the video if you would like to see me fitted up in this two piece set on my Instagram. If this video gets 250 likes, <laughs> I will post a picture of myself in this on my Instagram. It's crazy. The tag is really, really cool too. It is a touch of class made in USA, made in California. Look at that tag, a touch of class. Look at the bottoms tag. It has like a person on it. Let me find it. Yeah, it has like a punk on it. I don't know what's going on here, but these are super, super sick. And just to show y'all that I'm not just looking for vintage or whatever, I will resell anything. So I found this new with tags. It is a pink. So Victoria's Secret, I believe is the pink brand. And it is new with tags, size large, retailed for $80, $79.95. And this is a Mariners collab and I honestly couldn't even find a lot of these online when I looked on eBay and the only one that I saw that sold that was the windbreaker this exact one it was used and it sold for $30 so this is new with tags so I thought at least $30 so if I see something new with tags or I see something that I know I can sell I always grab it so I'm not just looking for like vintage tees and stuff we got a 1994 Budweiser hat fully embroidered just thought it was kind of cool I had to pick it up. This one surprised me. So this is a Patagonia bucket hat. And when I looked up Patagonia bucket hats on eBay to kind of compare prices, I saw a lot selling for like 20 or 30, but then I found this exact one, same tags on the inside. So this guy's made in Hong Kong, same tag, same color, everything and it sold for $80 or best offer. And then it's really funny because Sydney from Lucky Match Vintage said it was her boyfriend's who sold it on eBay and he sold it for 65 is what she told me. So $65 for this hat. And I was really shocked by that because I thought like, oh, I'll still pick it up. It's like 20, 30 bucks. But yeah, it's good that I actually looked a little bit harder and did some research because this is a really good find. What do y'all know about the Honey Bucket mid 2000s, early 2000s actually, promo tee 
on that gildan. This is like mid 2000s, early 2000s tag. So yeah, my friend threw this to me as a joke and I was like, I'll try it out. I'll try it out. So honey bucket. This is really cool. Just a Winthrop Washington, like long sleeve collared, like thick long sleeve. I don't know. It's just, I really like the colors. I love black and purple. Honestly, I got stoked when I pulled this. Say whatever you want, cause it's not that cool, but it's just like a wrap around vintage tea. I just love nature animal teas, like especially vintage ones. They just sell really easy and really quick on Depop. So yeah, when I found this, I was like, cool. There's an easy, like at least 25 bucks or so. We got a nineties white tag Nike zip up short sleeve jersey thing. I don't know, it's a size double XL. Probably won't get a lot for it, but throw it in the video. We got a early 2000s, mid 2000s, just Adidas hit with the little like three stripes all the way down to a small logo on the back. We got a Travis Scott Nike Center swoosh basketball tee. <laughs> Honestly, unless these are like the actual t-shirts, obviously the hoodies and stuff like that, they don't go for a lot at all, but there is like obviously big hype with these center check things. So I picked this up today, just kind of as like a, I bet I could sell it for like 15, 20 bucks on Depop really fast. So picked it up. We got a double XL silver tag, Nike, just the swoosh logo hit in the middle. Easy, like 20 bucks at least. This is a North Face. I really don't like picking up North Face, but this one is like a windbreaker material and it's really light. So it didn't cost me a lot and the colors are really great. So just the North Face, it's not Gore-Tex or anything, but yeah, really lightweight windbreaker. So I thought I'd pick it up. I think I could at least get like 30 bucks or so for this. We have a starter 1995 Patriots Bledsoe graphic tee with like the little starter hit. We have a mid 2000s Blink 182 shirt on the M and O blank. It's a size small. This one, I was kind of hyped when I found it and then I realized that they don't go for a lot, but I just really like the graphic and the color. It's a Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor dream coat promo, like crew neck sweater. I saw the shirt selling for like 15 and I saw only one sweater on eBay for like 40, I think. So I think at least like 25 bucks or something. I just really love the graphic. I've never seen it. I think it's a play and maybe a movie. Honestly, not that sure. Just did a quick Google on it, but I just really like the graphic. So these are some vintage Union Bay pants. They have some wear on them and stuff, but they're like acid washed. And I tried them on in the bins. <laughs> it sounds kind of sketchy, but I'm wearing these pants that are just like paper thin. So I just put them over my pants. But yeah, I tried on these Union Bay pants in the bins and they fit me perfectly. They fit me super well. So shout out Abby, Bins mom, who found these and just gave them to me. They will either be in my personal for a little bit or on Depop. Also shout out Abby who traded me this Misfits hoodie. I think it's probably like a mid to like late 2000s Misfits hoodie, but front and back print, probably at least like 30 bucks or so on Depop. This, I am pretty positive this booty. Look how big that tag is. Like, I don't think Nike gray tag was that big. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know. Actually, it does have a smaller paper tag, which I know a lot of them do. So maybe it's not booty. I don't know. Drop a comment. Anyways, this zipper literally does not work. It will not budge. All uh, like three or four of us at Bins were trying to figure out why like it won't zip down, but it won't. But the neck hole is pretty big, so you can still put it on. But it's just this Nike like little hit right here, color blocked zip up sweater. And it has a pretty big stain right there. I don't think it's gonna come out, but like four people passed on it. And I was like, you know what? I'll take it and see if I can just sell it for like 20 bucks or something. So this next one was kind of crazy to find at Bins. And later on, actually someone that follows me told me that their friend did these like bootlegs and printed them on a bunch of different things. So it's kind of crazy that I ended up with one at Bins, but it's this little peep like memorial tank top. And yeah, rest in peace, Gus, gigantic fan of Peep. So many people in my videos either like say, I wonder if he listens to Lil Peep or <laughs> they say I look like Peep or something like that. So yeah, obviously like I'm a really big fan of Peep. So this was kind of crazy to find in bins. And a lot of people ask me about it actually, and it's not for sale. I'm just gonna keep it, like hang it up or even wear it. It's just a really amazing piece. And yeah, rest in peace, Gus. So this one is very me. It says happy with what I have, but always willing to have more. 
So that is very me because I'm very content with what I have in my life, but <laughs> I could always have more. If this was adult sized, would have been a banger, but it's a kid's dark mall on that Star Wars tag. Has some holes and everything, but still just a really sick little kid's piece. I still pick up kid's clothes. Like they do pretty well for me. I just sell them on Depop even. And yeah, people buy them. You got a made in USA, like super sick, like pastel rainbow colors, cowboy button up shirt. Love the colors, it matches my hair like hella well actually. You got a Betty Boop fleece from 2002 navy and red with the hood right there just a little fleece embroidery mariners starter jacket right here size xl got the hits on the sleeve right there and then this is the last thing before i get into my really good stuff so this is a reversible green bay packers got the big hit on the back i'll show you guys it the other way so this is what it looks like the other way you got the hit right there and then the big spell on the back actually people told me it was there the day before and no one wanted it so it was there again in the morning and i was like i don't know why you guys wouldn't want this for sure from like the 90s i feel like so i don't know i feel like i could at least get like 30 40 bucks for this so this brings us to the last and best things that i found at bins so this first one i kind of put on my story like joking in a way because Disney tees have gone super through the roof in the market value and they're super overhyped right now. So I kind of put it on my story as a joke and then someone told me that they actually sold a size medium of the exact same one for 150 bucks. So I was kind of like, all right, I guess I could get some money for this. It's a size small, but the length of it is like a large, honestly. And the pit to pit is like more of like a medium. So yeah, this is a Disney animation promo tee and it has like so many characters on the back it's a size small also like look at this this is a size small and it honestly like would fit me perfectly so yeah someone that I know sold this exact shirt for 150 bucks so I don't know exactly what to price it out as but that's crazy to me so it makes my better finds pile these next two were actually done in a trade from someone at bin so I found something they wanted so they traded me these so we got a the Judd's tour tee and these honestly don't go for a lot but I just love the graphics so much the front and back print just the colors and everything so threw that in my like better pile this one is so sick I don't know why but it reminds me of like Apple like Apple computers for some reason, but it's these like rainbow fish and it says Corvallis, Corvallis, Oregon. Not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but yeah, rainbow fish. So the day I found this shirt, I found two of these tees and it was like a crazy day. Honestly, in terms of the value of these two pieces I found on the same day, probably my best bins day. So we got this vintage Albert Einstein. I simply imagine it so front print and then the back is Einstein and it has a quote. It says, I never worry about the future. It comes soon enough. I love the quote so much. So this is a really awesome tee. It's on this tag, which if you guys see this tag, I'm not going to try to pronounce it, but if you guys see this tag, it's normally like art tees and stuff are on these tags. So this is a good tag to get familiar with, but made in USA, size XL. It has some slight stains on it and everything, but I think this is a very good tee. This next one was mail from my friend Sherry. So shout out if you're watching it. I believe you watched the videos. This is a Doom video game promo tee. Size XL, single stitch, the big ID software hit on the back. This tee is honestly crazy and she thrifted it and put it on her story. And I was like, yo, what do you want for that? And she gave me a fat steal for this. So I really, really appreciate you. This tee is honestly awesome. This game gave me headaches growing up and playing it. It moved so fast. Like I honestly couldn't even really play it because it gave me such bad headaches, but the aesthetic and like the creatures in it are just crazy. Last two finds. I found this yesterday, y'all. I found one before at Rax. I think it was right when I started making YouTube videos. So maybe you can go back and find it. But yesterday, found this at the bins. Travis Scott Nike Center Check hoodie, size XL, made in USA. And this thing is like legit brand new. It does have some like really, really light markings like right through here, but you can barely see them. 
you can kind of see them in the light but like they you can't see them that well and yeah besides that the inner of this is like so soft it's like brand new i feel like it's never been washed honestly so this was an insane find uh when i found it i was like oh are these still going for like a hundred bucks and yeah my friends sold the olive green one shout out drape talks he told me he sold the olive green one for like over 200 so this is crazy if you guys see these these are good to pick up just the center check nothing else on it so yeah uh the last find of the day yesterday and i was shocked that i found it now i found this on the same day as the albert einstein tea and this tea is nuts so this is a 1997 Jimi Hendrix tea. You can see my man right there. The back with some lyrics. And then it's licensed and dated right down here. 1997, you guys probably can't see that, but it's on my Instagram if you guys want to look. And yeah, honestly, so my homie Andy Cascadia Vintage found a Jimi Hendrix Winterland all over print tea. Like, a few weeks ago maybe a month ago and then i just found this one i feel like they're popping up pretty often so this was a crazy find that is my final find of the video i appreciate you guys so much for watching please drop a like please subscribe if you're not subscribed drop a comment i respond to like as many comments as i can follow my instagram and my depop i'll put it up right here message me if you guys want anything in this video it's all for sale thank you guys for watching again i'm jackson with love is vintage peace out